Hey guys, Torque17 here, coming at you with another episode of Star Citizen 101. What we're going to be talking about today is the options menu. And basically, I'm going to go over it as quickly as possible and get into every little crevice of it, but not go into too much detail, because basically, you're going to be able to choose every option and play with it to fit your preferences. So I just want to give you the basics on what everything does, and then you can play with it on your own. All right, guys, and now that we're in the hangar, we're going to get right into this video and we're talking about the options menu. So the best way to get to the options menu is to press escape. And you notice that there are three buttons to click. You have options, arena commander, exit game. And you also have this button at the bottom, resume. Uh, the first button that we are going to talk about is the options button here. So we're going to go ahead and click it, and it brings up some more options. Uh, first one's game settings, graphics, audio, control options, and key binding. The default puts you on game settings, and you'll see there's a few things here that we can look at. Cinematic cameras are the missile cams, which currently aren't in this build, and this build is version 1.1.3, and there is some word that it will be in 1.1.5, and probably in later builds, uh, depending on when you see this video. Uh, they were disabled for this one, but we should see them coming, and they are pretty fun to use. Contextual dialogue subtitles are subtitles when you're talking to kind of the AI or they're talking to you. So for example, if Warlord or Vixen in a um, Vandal Swarm are speaking to you, there'll be a little subtitle at the bottom. Cockpit audio subtitles are subtitles for when your ship speaks to you tells you your shields are down tells you um it's scanning and so on there'll be a little subtitle at the bottom the flight lead pip reticle i always have that off but um i prefer the lag pip reticle there's two different reticles and uh the lead pip we'll talk about first and that is when there are little uh squares triangles circles or diamonds that represent the type of gun that you're firing and also like a big circle with a crosshair when they're combined but um, the lead pip leads off of the ship that you're targeting so when you're locked onto a ship it will actually put the reticles which is what you're actually aiming for it will lead it off the ship to kind of tell you hey shoot this far ahead and my round will hit the ship and if you have it off you have a lag pip reticle which is it lags off of the crosshair and then you will place it on to a ship and then you, i prefer this one because you actually get to choose the part of the ship that you hit where it's a lot more difficult to choose with the lead pip reticle and just a note um the lead pip reticle seems to be the choice of mouse and keyboard users while the lag pip reticle seems to be more of a choice of joystick and gamepad users. Flight targeting ESP is a system that was put into the game to dynamically adjust your sensitivity when targeting. And uh, basically it should make it a little bit easier to target when using a joystick or a gamepad. That is not for mouse and keyboard users. And then we go down to vibration and that is just for gamepad users to add vibration to their gamepad. All right, let's move on to the next menu which is the graphics menu. And this is just my basic graphics that I use when streaming. Um, I have a full screen windowed, uh, 1920 by 1080, quality low, and then I don't touch the gamma brightness or contrast. Uh, the settings that they do have are low, medium, high, and very high. I stream on low, but I can play on very high and get um, pretty decent frame rates when I'm not streaming. So those are your choices there. Pretty basic, simple. Same with audio. They're pretty basic. I always keep the music volume at zero, sound effects at four, and flash video sound volume at four. To be honest, I'm still not sure what flash video sound volume is, but I just keep it with my sound effects volume. Moving on to control options. This is where you can play a little bit with your settings for your mouse your gamepad, and your joystick. And basically you can choose things like 
Um, do you want your aim mode to use the mouse? You say yes. Or do you want your to use virtual joystick mode, which was basically gimbal lock um, for a mouse? And gimbal lock means that if your weapons move freely, they're going to stay in a fixed position. And that's really it for control options, other than you can slide down and mess with your master sensitivity curve, which mine is a little higher than I expected it to be. But uh, this is basically it. I just mess with the master, but you can actually mess with each one individually. I tend not to play with these too much because I'm afraid I'm going to break something, but you can play with these a bit more and make it kind of fitting, fitting your own kind of style and you can click edit curve and play with the curves and stuff like that personally I think this is a bit more advanced than for a Star Citizen 101 video but if you want to play with these in a free flight and get kind of a sense for them you're feel free to and these curves are actually in every setting both gamepad mouse as well moving on to key binding this is the initial you know, basic menu for a key keyboard and mouse. And this kind of tells you what every button does on the keyboard, right? So you can take a look at this. Uh, my suggestion is that you actually pause the video, take a look, see how everything works and get a sense for it before you um, start using Star Citizen. Like for example, you can maneuver your shields around, uh, pressing eight on the numpad will, you know, if you're facing someone in the front, you can push your shields all the way to the front boost them up while lowering all the other shields to, you know, take more hits head on. And same with like uh, the numbers on the actual keyboard where you would add power to group one, group two, group three. Uh, group one would be weapons, group two would be power uh, to your like engines and stuff and group three would be shields. So yeah, you can play around with that stuff and see that it also has an FPS gamepad so or uh, keyboard keybinds. So when you're outside of your ship, these are the keybinds that you would be using for the FPS, right? And then you can also switch between gamepad so you can see your basics if you're using a gamepad as well as your joystick and HOTAS. I don't recommend looking at the joystick one though because not everyone uses this joystick. I happen to have it. I don't use it personally, but every joystick is different, so um, I wouldn't recommend looking at them too, too much. So the next thing I want to look at is the advanced controls customization, and this is actually where you change your keybinds on your own from the default settings. So let's go ahead and let's just go to joystick and HOTAS, right? And you can open any of these menus by clicking the plus and close them by clicking the mouse. So flight view would be look left, look right, movement, pitch up, pitch down, stuff like that. But let's uh, go ahead to flight cockpit and let's set a self-destruct keybind. So how you set keybinds is once you click the actual little area here, it'll bring up the little menu and kind of tell you how to do everything. So if you double click, the box here it will actually set the ability to rebind so waiting for button input and I'll press button 8 so that binds it if you right click it clears the bind and let's go ahead and rebind it to button 8 and if you press Y that means that you have to double tap button 8 so it actually makes buttons doubly as useful if you use the double tap keybind which is something I never noticed before until doing this video so that's actually pretty cool uh, the other little thing that we can take a look at is control profiles. So there's multiple profiles that Joyce, that um, Star Citizen has preset, and you can select those uh, to your liking. For example, uh, joystick or keyboard uh, preset two is something a little different than the standard keybinds. My suggestion is stick with the default, get used to them, and play with them and you know if there's something that you don't like you can move it to whatever you prefer and that's just my suggestion so let's back out of this a little bit and let's take a look at the next menu option and that is the arena commander button so let's go ahead and click that and we're just briefly going to talk about this 
because in our next video we're going to speak a lot in a lot more detail about uh, everything here. So I'm just going to kind of explain what th these three buttons do and then back out. So the first button is Spectrum Match, and that is your multiplayer games. So any game that you would be involved in in multiplayer would be clicked through this button. Drone Sim is your single player stuff. So single player free flight, Vandal Swarm on your own, you're going to find those in here. And the basic free flight training is your tutorial mode. And again, we will go into more detail in those sections in a later video. So we're back in the hangar and that's pretty much it for the options menu guys but before we go the little one thing that i do want to show you is to get into the sim pod you can also find the arena commander menu there you go to the sim pod when the use option comes up you press f it will enter you into the sim pod and that same menu pops up inside of the simulator okay so there's your spectrum match drone sim basic flight training Let's go ahead and exit the sim pod. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this video, please like it. If you disliked it, you know what button to press. If you're looking for more videos like this in the Star Citizen 101 series or others in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't checked out my Twitch stream, Go ahead and head over to twitch.tv slash torque17 and I will see you all next time.